Well, everybody said about the bird. Bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. Bird is a winner. Right, well, you know, well, as you can see, we've managed to get out. There's no rain, no snow, no wind. We've actually got a tropical six degrees. Um, although we have got a bit of fog, but you can't have everything. We're out, that's the main thing. Uh, tide's in, um, and as you can see from the beach, normally I run along the top there on a patch of sand. There isn't any sand, it's washed all the shingle up. But what it has done, has exposed this run of sand here all the way along the beach so we're going to detect this narrow strip which is obviously a bit closer to the sea and uh, see what's in this strip okay hopefully back with some finds well we're not doing terribly well I've run pretty much along the end to this old pier here and uh, all I'm finding is um, Canslaw, small bits of aluminium, uh, pull, pull can rings, or pop can rings, or whatever they're called. Blobs of aluminium, a couple of bits of what I think's a plane. So we've got a target here. Let's have a quick look. Another classic example of what we're finding. A big lump of cancel. So it looks like all the lighter targets are lower down the beach. So I need to go up on the gravel, I think, or the shingle. Uh, I'm not having much luck here at all. So I wander along here a bit. Um, see what else we can get and hopefully might be back with another find but you certainly wouldn't want to go wading in there we're freezing it's only six degrees Sunday the 26th of March it is next weekend is Easter that's when we've got more snow coming so, right anyway we'll crack on right well I've moved right up the beach I've managed to find some bits of sand up here you can see where the water's washed all up here just there, quite shallow, and it's been a right pain to find it. We've just had our first coin, which is a pound coin. These are the ones that have gone obsolete, but you can see how thick they are. Um, however, I found uh, some in one of my detecting pots at home. Took it to the bank the other weekend, and they will still change them for modern money. So that is... can't see the date on there oh well at least we're up and running and we've got a coin so I'm going to concentrate around this area here see what other drops there are okay hopefully back in a minute right well still going along the same area and I think you can see that down there here now I've got the a cruddy penny go. so another coin that's all right we'll take that chuck that in the bag so that's good so that's two coins, all within a short spell of time. Right, we'll crack on. We seem to have found a nice little area here. Well, it appears in the same hole. We've got another target. Let's go in a bit further. All right. So that's in here. Can you see that there? What's that? Ah. Look. Piece of alley. That was in the same hole as that coin. So, it's always worth checking. Right, we'll crack on. Right, just against that little bit of grass there, quite a bit down, just had another coin. A 
which is Here comes the money. Here we go. Money an English five pence piece. Now on the um, on the meter, I'm going to show you so. Right. Watch the reading. It's in the centre. stays in the centre. 5p pieces on the 4ZX like most uh, are bits of silver foil uh, ring pulls they read the same so you dig any signal you get in the middle because although you probably end up digging ring pulls which is where they tend to register bits of silver foil it also gives you a 5 pence piece as well so remember that right on we go Right, still working my way along the top. Just had another coin. This time an older one. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. 1974, that one. That's a half penny. Uh, I can remember those when I was a kid being in circulation. But about 74, 75. They disappeared. So, yeah, that's not bad. So we're doing all right for coins today. I'll get you a close up of that when we get back. So I'm just just running along the top mainly still because that's the only bit of beach I can dig. But this, obviously, the water's come right up to here and pounded the top. So it's obviously unearthed a lot of coins. So, oh well, let's get uh, going again, and uh, hopefully I'll be back with another target. Well. You wouldn't believe it, but it's just started raining, so I'm going to have to give this up as a bad lot. Just see it starting to spit on my coat. So, quick, uh, quick round up. We've got the pound coin, the cruddy penny, the five pence, and the half penny. So, yeah, not too bad, um, considering the beach is quite, uh, quite sanded in. You can see the rain appearing on here, so. I'm going to leg it back to the car before it tips down, but that's just typical of this weather. Every time you come out, you're just getting rained off. So, uh, I may see you next week with um, a load of snow. Oh, I don't know what's going on with the weather. It's just gone mental. Beautiful morning, lovely and calm, and then what does it do? Start raining. Oh, well. We've put the clocks forward an hour in the UK today, so normally I get down here half past six. <coughs> it's nice and light, but because uh, the clock went forward an hour, when I got up this morning, quarter to six, it was actually quarter to five, so you can imagine how dark it was. So I'm down here a bit later today, so hence a little short hunt, but I'm going to call it a day. Uh, hopefully we'll get a longer one in next week and uh, I can't even see where this rain is coming from there's just no clouds in the sky with the rain oh well back to the car we go oh, well, everybody's heard about the bird. Bird, bird, bird.